I want to say goodbye to the ZWO family. And of course, so that I'm transferring myself and my equipment to the Nina. And of course, I will need some power source or I call my equipment because I have uh, actually sold my uh, ZWO SCA and also my ZWO camera. So I'm now picking up my power supply. It is a new power supply from. Terrace industry, so let's look at this power supply closely. Your package, it will be packed very well, but it is very low. And how it is going to look like? Uh, I've shipped mine from their own factory, so I receive it uh, in a state that you are seeing here in this package. Let's see the box one for. Use a knife, but I don't recommend it. Uh, so, as you can see here, I have filled my knife, so I'll open it. This could be sound wise also for my pressures. This do fact so we can unpack it safely without using some uh, objects and anything else. And uh, I've made this video short so you can see what it didn't do, but you can open it as uh, you wish and as you want. Here I used the knife and it was the most particular part of the knife. Also, on the end, I use my hands and I open it. Uh, it is packaged with a package, but cursive cables, as you can see. And those are not in the main package. Of course, the main package is all protect. And as you can see the package from all the sides. Uh, it is clearly stated uh, the name, the the name on the brand, and also power box. And also you can see here that this pro. The two version, which I have a version that you already know something about this package. You got yourself some tables for cable management, would be easier with those cables. And I think those cables are like, like the ZF heads you got with your uh, ZWO Mini 4, other version of uh, of, of power boxes from the leader with all. Uh, it is protected like your panel. Yes, of course, I've opened it here and you can see it is a very small device, but uh, very efficient and very compact. I will uh, take you with me here so you can see all the sites on the USB trees and power supplies, units and management is very well in this small package, a small device. Uh, notices and cautions. And here we want to see what this that's all about. Of course, you can you can pause the video and look at it right now. I have to remove the protective nylon. That's it. Uh, you also got here a quick start on English language uh, and also on Chinese language. You can pause the video and read all about it. I've read it. And you've got yourself the cable for the Temperature sensor for USB 3. And this is not so good. I thought to like that, but it is very hard and usable. So you're going to use it very well with this device. And this is the sensor, temperature and uh, temperature sensor, and also um, humidity sensor. Of course, the uh, plastic was 3D printed, I think. And you have some screws, and that's all your bullets in the package so of course you can see the device from all other sites right now with me once more you can feel that it is aluminium made and you can uh take and put your shoe like that or like that the cushions uh or not this is not this about the device it is all about not having the power button, have a power button, and I think that is done 
and most important coins. Okay, right now we are at the official site of the Terence Industry Power Pogs and other devices that they are making. Everyone who knows something about one step, one step opus was brought up for mm, for uh, the mounts knows this page at the download section of this page you'll find at the bottom of the page necessary programs and drivers that we are going to use and download it so after you download these programs you will unzip it and down and install them of course after that we're going to be able to use this device here yeah. Nina as we're going to see right now. And right now I'm going to open the Nina software. And after that, you'll be able to control this device using Nina. Of course, you will want to use it via remote PC. So it will want to be usable wirelessly not the natively from the device itself but from from the remote computer control right now you're going to open uh after you choose the device you're going to open settings and you're going to find there what you will need to configure configure okay then this is what you're going to see of course you are able to make changes with the levels or any level and that you are want you want to change the name of it you can do it but i encourage you to do it as it is or to add something because all the uh, labels on the exact device are there like naming of the usbs and naming of the dc ports so you choose the comports right comports of this press ok of course some of these ports you can use it as I add your heaters using the uh, temperature and grid sensor that comes with the device. And after you press OK, here you're going to be able to connect to it after you choose the right COM port uh, via the Nina. So we are going to do that right now. We press connect and you will find all, all of the device ports even the usbs or dc ports manageable and the nina you can turn on and off all the ports you can find uh the consumption of of energy you can see the voltage oil voltage you can see the humidity you can see also the internal uh, process uh process temperature of course uh, extra uh, temperature of course and you are able to control one of these supports that is adducible uh, and uh, make changes from 3 up to 12 volts you can see that I'm doing that right now so we are able to control all the DC ports and all of the USBs via NEMA and I think that you are are not able to do this with other power uh, boxes like I guess with something else I didn't use those but I think that uh, be, being able to control all those devices uh, turning them off and on is a very very good option for this uh, power supply Okay, so now let's talk about advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that there is no hardware button yet. Uh, the advantage is cables could be silicon. Of course, that is one of the best things that could happen, not just with this brand, but with other brands. And third is uh, 2.5 millimeters import, DC import, but it has been stated that it is 2.1 and 4, uh, no, 5 amperage should be for uh, Raspberry Pi 5 support yet, but not just the cons of this 
actual brands, but for all other brands, uh, not to comp to composite was yet also. So I think the main cons is uh, import because I had, I, know, I had well the power supply with 2.1. As it stated on the box box, further it is not, I will not be able to use it. And right now, when you are going to talk about some advantages, we are to start with the first one, and it is you no know, controllability because you are able to control all the USB trees and tools and all uh all this supports also so that is the main advantage and uh, you are going to be able to do with the post for the nina and ask controls all other programs and um, many of them south or what build quality is very well built and you can also judge by yourself looking looking at it and feeling it in your hands we are sure that this this will going to be a quality product uh it is very Compatible size, as you can see here, comparing to my to my uh, to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, then the price is the better than all the other brands right now that we have. So it is like one hundred dollars or euros um, below the Pegasus. Also, due to support.